I think it's a really good thing. We should always honor the veterans. As the old saying goes, freedom is not free and the fight is ever endless. And our military, bar none, are the best. They continue to fight each and every day for us, even when we go about our business and we forget that there are conflicts abroad. Even when you stand in front of those enemies who might outnumber you, you show your honor, your bravery, and your courage. And we thank you. And this is your day of remembrance. I'm very honored here being new here in Stanford, and uh, it's a warm welcome. They got a lot of heart and soul here, and they're really interested in taking care of their veterans as well as the people who are serving currently. So I tip my hat to the people of Stanford. Nowadays, less than 1% of the population even has a relationship to the military, be it their father, their mother, sister or brother or child. And so it's very important to bring the sacrifices of the men and women who have served, who are serving now, to the general populace. A lot of these people are coming back. Uh, some of them are hurt. Some of them you can see their wounds, some of them can't. And we've got to take care of those people. America, my